know your blood pressure numbers. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 25 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, when you take your blood pressure, there's two numbers. The big number is called the systolic number. The bottom number is called the diastolic number. The first number, the systolic, represents when your heart actually beats and it's pushing the blood through your arteries, the amount of tension in the actual artery or pressure measured by millimeters of mercury is how much the first number is. The second number is when the heart actually relaxes, how much pressure is still remaining in that artery. Now currently the recommendations are that your blood pressure, the systolic, should be less than 120 and the diastolic should be less than 180. If you have a blood pressure that's less than 120 over 80 for both numbers, then you're considered to have normal blood pressure. Now, the next level is where you would can be considered to have elevated blood pressure. Now, if your systolic number is between 120 and 129, but the bottom number, the diastolic, is still below 80, then you're considered to be elevated. And so that's kind of the beginning stages of hypertension and that's where you wanna start keeping your eye on it. Now the third stage, which is considered hypertension or high blood pressure, is where your blood pressure, the systolic number, is between 130 and 139 and the diastolic is between 80 and 89. This is the first stage of what they consider hypertension and this is where it starts to get serious where you need to start taking some significant changes in your lifestyle seriously and or start with medication. Now, stage two of hypertension or high blood pressure would be where your systolic number is above 140 and your diastolic number is above 90. And this is a situation now where you're starting to get in trouble. So if your numbers are like this, then you need to make some significant changes and really talk to your doctor about medication. Now the last stage is kind of no man's land where you might not be around for very much longer, which is called the hypertensive crisis stage. It's a crisis. This is where you need to see a doctor now. This is where your blood pressure would be in the systolic would be over 180 and your diastolic would be over 120. This is not a good situation. You are in trouble at this point. You are a ticking time bomb. You need to stop watching YouTube and get to your doctor. Now the million dollar question is this, when do you take your blood pressure and what numbers do you use? Because if you just had coffee or you're very stressed out or you've eaten a bunch of foods that maybe aren't good for you and you take your blood pressure, sometimes these numbers will fluctuate. What you wanna do is take your blood pressure at the same time all the time and you wanna do it in a controlled way. And if you're not sure of how to properly assess your blood pressure, then I'm gonna do you a solid and I'm gonna put a video right here on how to properly take your blood pressure. There are so many mistakes that people can make and they get a lot of false readings. So make sure and hit that link and watch that video. You really want an accurate assessment of your true blood pressure. And then if you're watching this video, it's likely you may be concerned about your blood pressure. So right here on this link, I'm gonna put down four foods that you can actually eat that will naturally lower your blood pressure for the long run.